need to have like a vague I probably need to have like a vague knowledge of what I want to be. So, um grade 10 I took my, did I take my first SAT? No, I took my first SAT in grade 11. Test lang, wala pa akong naaral noon. Then I took it a second time in grade 12. And between that, I took actually sponsor sila dito. I took Limbs Review Center. I love you Mrs. Lim. <laughs> so, she's my favorite teacher ko ever. That's where din ako math tutor kasi math yung pinaka weak spot ko. So, that's Mrs. Benedicto. I don't know if anyone's familiar with her. Um Plus, I improved my grades, and in school, so as I mentioned earlier, head ako ng org noon, na YC. So that's a pretty good thing to put on your resume. Kasi, on your resume to submit to colleges, kasi you're ahead of something. And if you have other out-of-school stuff, put that din. Um, so parang ganun lang, you, set, you kind of set leadership goals for yourself. Hindi lang yung, okay, I'm gonna study this entire book of SAT now. It's not like that, it's more of... I want to be a leader of this, if I can, and I want to be an active participant. Not, kumara, you can't just lead it from the sidelines. Or if you're not even a leader, try mo lang mag, parang become an active member. Have some sort of contribution to whatever orgs you're in. And make it, leave a mark. So once you leave a mark, syempre important na yun, then I think even, that literally the month before I left for the States, I interned at Zalora. And that was like, I was their youngest ever intern. So parang kahit ganun lang, minention ko na rin sa school ko na parang, by the way, <laughs> alam mo ba? Kung ganun, ganun lang. So, you try to set yourself apart from the crowd because how many people volunteer for Habitat for Humanity in the States, di ba? So parang ganun lang, you try to follow your passions um, and parang make actions out of those passions din. Um, yeah, just building on what Caitlin said, it's more about um, quality than quantity, right? If you just join a lot, if you just have like a, a long, long list of stuff you joined, but it's all just surface level, you just went in, just did whatever, colleges are not gonna, they don't really care, right? It's more focused on quality than quantity. And months leading up to me writing my applications, um, I can give you adv advice on not what to do. So, what I did was procrastinate, 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 procrastinate. Oh crap, I have to do this tomorrow. Right, 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 right. Stay up until like 6 a.m. So don't do that. Um, yeah, so just don't do that. But aside from that, as long as you take your time uh, and take your time, right, right, edit it a lot. You know, you got, you got to make sure you get that wording right because you got to keep it concise. And yeah, that's it. Just don't do what I do. I think this is an important part pa nga to add. Yung TAMP has a mentorship program. I'm not sure when the application's open. Shameless plug, eh, joke. <laughs> Pero I'm, I'm a mentor kasi last year for three different girls. And then, um, kasi it's hard din. Eh. Like, I, I know what it feels like to be an applicant. And what I mean, Michael said, you will procrastinate 100%. So what I did with my mentees is what my mentee did, my mentor did to me, where she set deadlines for me. And I had to follow those deadlines. Otherwise, parang hindi niya mabasahin yung essay ko. Ganun. So parang it's important then to set, you set boundaries and set deadlines for yourself. Kasi... That is how you will parang lead those in parang ano kasi let's say what Michael did. If you if you're not disciplined enough like Michael, now you're like, okay, I can do this in one night. And then you forgot all about it. Edi wala ng application mo. But if you have that person kind of breathing down your neck na, uy, yung essay mo, send mo na sa akin bukas. <laughs> parang may, may pagkatulo din sa'yo. So if you don't have a mentor, at least get a buddy, someone who's going to the States with you or someone who wants to go to the States or other countries with you. Para lang tandem kayo na you can hold each other accountable. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy for my mentor as well. <laughs> my, my camp mentor. Uh, so my timeline, the, the thought of applying for abroad, oh, uh, I thought of it around grade 10 and then applied grade 11. Took the SAT grade 11. Tried to retake it on the, on grade 12, but I couldn't because it was COVID and it was like canceled. Like all of it, I applied twice and it was like canceled. So yeah, I think my advice would be start early. Don't, don't procrastinate. Uh, don't do what I did, which was to reuse my essays for like the colleges, which was like a really bad decision. But you know, <laughs> but yeah, so don't procrastinate. Be ahead. Uh, 
that do 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 their requirements ahead of time, research the schools and what they need. Some of them need like uh, a video portfolio, some of them don't. So you need to like check the requirements before hand. So yeah. All right. So if everyone's good with this question, is everyone good? Thumbs up. Yes. Okay, we're all good. Okay. So for the next question, this is actually before that, um, since you guys mentioned mentioned the mentorship program, it actually opens tomorrow, 7 p.m. So stay tuned, camp blog. Yes. So okay, for the next question, uh, this is to Kate. Is there a specific language you're focusing on with Complete? I'm very interested in that course. Ooh, pen off. Well, I'm going to do it in English. Um, but pen does this thing where, like, the majors you can do like a transnational comparative literature. Um, and you just study different cultures. But I'm not sure if it's in English or in a different language. Uh, but for me, it's going to be in English. Okay, so for the next question, this is another targeted question. This is for Raf. To clarify, did you change your major from bioengineering to computer science? If so, how did you find the classes for CS major so far? Uh, wait, no, I, I'm not. I'm not switching from bio e to ex. Uh, I'm intending to double major. But then when they tell people that, they were like, oh, it's an over, what, what are you doing to yourself? But yeah, so uh, if I can do it, maybe I will. But then if not, if I can't handle the classes, maybe I'll just do it as a minor instead. But my main major would be bioengineering, but it's still under the College of Engineering here in Berkeley. So it's easy to shift between each major. And I know people, like a lot of people, here, a lot of engineering students here, transfer from a different engineering major to X because that's like one of the famous majors here in Berkeley. And um, for the CS classes, I think uh, I've had experience in like programming in high school. So it was kind of, kind of like, okay for me here. But uh, for BioE, there were, okay, so for BioE, there's like four different concentrations that you can choose when you're in like junior year. And then one of them is like medical devices. Uh, the other is like tish, cell tissue and biology. And then my interest would be into like the medical devices. So if you are planning to take that route, you need to know like the CS classes or like the uh, circuits class. So I think with that pathway for BioE, some of those classes would intersect with like this, with the computer science, which is kind of okay. Okay, so since um, uh, we're near like 5.15, we kind of extended a bit since there were a lot of questions. We also had like comments too that you guys were like pretty funny. So thank you guys for also <laughs> entertaining our attendees. I was also quite entertained with um, how you guys answered uh, the questions. And yeah, so okay, since there's still a lot of questions, we probably might have to... Um, We'll probably cut it a bit short and if ever um the participants who asked can probably contact you guys if that's possible so um you guys can send in your emails or whatever mode of contact in the chat box so the participants can access it yes Okay, so I think everyone was able to um, send in the, their mode of contact. So uh, once again, we wanted to thank you guys so much for allotting more than an hour of your time to really um, answering and being here with us today at camp. And we're really looking forward to seeing you guys in the next event. So we hope that everyone's learned something new and we hope that you guys were able to take note and really just digest everything that you guys um, 
have listened to. So we'll see you at our next event. Bye, everyone.